Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with our two inch brush and a little bit of yellow and white. And let's start somewhere here in the middle and just drop in a beautiful soft background. Now today we're going to do a, oh, we're going to do a nice forest painting. I think it'll have a lot of, a lot of softness in the background. Now I'm adding more white as I go because really this is the only area where I want it to have, have a decent amount of color and the rest is almost white, very subtle. Now with a very soft purple color, let's just, oh, we'll come right about here and start scrubbing in some trees. <laughs> now, as you can see, I have a lot of, a lot of sketching done here. What I did is I took the filbert brush and a little bit of brown and just sort of started sketching. This is a little river here and kind of a nice cliff there. And look at that steep angle. And I think we might even do an old log that's broken off and laying in the water. I don't think we've ever done one of those together before. So it'll be something new for, for both of us. It'll be fun. I love doing new things. I love experimenting and finding out what works and finding out different ways to to do things. Now we can sculpt in a beautiful tree up here. I just have the filbert brush and a little bit of brown, black, white. Nothing too complicated. It doesn't even take very long. You just sort of do a couple of quick brush strokes and create beautiful limbs and, and nice spacing of branches and stuff. All right, we'll throw some leaves on that so we're not concerned, not too worried. And maybe over here, let's grab just a a little bit of yellow mixed in with whatever's on that brush. Let's just scrub in here and there. Well, that's kind of slow, isn't it? Let's grab a big brush. And let's just block in a background here. Something that we'll put trees over and, and this will sort of shine through every once in a while. That's all. Now with our filbert brush and a little bit of yellow and white. Let's come up here and just smudge in a couple of oh, beautiful little leaves and things up here. Don't want too much. I want them to be pretty subtle. See this? And I want to see a lot of the sky showing through. So nice little smudges of color. Now you can see we destroyed that part of the tree and I didn't bother to put it back in because I'm going to have other trees in front so it'll be covered up. No reason to work on something that's, that we're going to lose. See that? Let them extend right over the light. And, oh, isn't that pretty? You're not limited to this color only. You can change it up a little as you go. See, look, you can put a clump out. Don't, be, don't ever be afraid to put a clump out here in, in, in the middle of nowhere, kind of hanging out loose like this because you can always connect it with a branch later. So just don't even worry about your branch placement. Just think about where the leaves would look good and a nice realistic clumping of, of the different limbs, then worry about connecting it to the tree later, because that's easy. Now with our filbert brush and some yellow, green, and a touch of red, let's just block in this area over here. You remember we're not worried at all about, about the, the edge of the tree. We'll probably lose it. And if we don't lose it now, we'll cover it up with, a, with larger leaves and, and other things that are connected to trees that are a little bit closer to us. All right, now the reason we don't want to use a bigger brush on this, although it would make it go a little bit faster, is that I just want to leave a couple of areas like this showing through. And I want it to look a lot like little trees and all sorts of nice things. So I get more control with a small brush, that's why. But if, you, <laughs> if you'd rather use the one inch, that's fine. This doesn't take a lot longer though, not too much. So it's whatever you want to do. Next, with our filbert brush, we'll load up a little bit of brown, black, and red. And with this, let's just begin to, to brush in a couple of trees here. <laughs> There's going to be a ton of trees in this forest. There's one. Just got to start. Start throwing them in. Maybe there's a mix of evergreens and and leaf trees in here. Now we can't go, 
can't go one tree at a time making everybody perfect because it simply is not gonna look right. So I need you to just throw them in fast like this and look how random it is. Very random. These are just the background trees, so it really doesn't make any difference what they look like as long as they're not symmetrical or repetitive in any way. Well, we have this brush going. Let's just scrub in this land area. Leave this area open for, for just a minute because I think we're gonna have a lighter. <laughs> well, maybe we should just do it now instead of talking about doing it later. This is gonna be lighter, so underpaint it with something slightly more subtle. See that? A lot of white in that color. Maybe some green. I, I think this area needs green. All right. There's always a lot of green areas around water. Okay. And back in here it gets darker because it's in shadow. There's a lot of big trees around. Next with our filbert brush and some yellow and green. Let's just start right here and begin to to tap on some beautiful leaves and, and clumps of leaves. See, it really doesn't take too long. I'm just dabbing in and out. And every once in a while, if you just kind of give it a flick, a little bit of a flick at the end, it blurs and blends out the stroke so that it just, it's a little more suggestive than tapping. Just gives you a different look and vary the, vary the textures and styles around and you'll get just a, an amazing variety of different things, different leaves and oh, your painting will be special. Now look, this is not very bright and that's great because you're gonna see that subtlety there in the end, but you are gonna have to do some very bright ones. Just add more yellow. See, this really creates a, a nice detailed look with your trees. Now with our filbert brush, we can begin to, to add on a little bit of highlight here. I have mostly just yellow, brown, and white. And you just scrub this on. Pretty loose, pretty free. Not worried too much about how, how it goes on. All right. Add a lot of beautiful golden colors and all sorts of nice things, but not too bright. Set that brush down and tap with the tap with the fan brush to create a, a lot of beautiful grass. Now with our filbert brush and a little bit of black and yellow, we'll come right up here and drop in a beautiful tree. Now what that yellow does to the black is it turns it into a soft kind of a muted, well you can see it, it's a very muted gray-green color. And it's, it's just about what we want for this painting. And this is a tree. Okay, maybe way up here. There, some branches and leaves, all sorts of beautiful details. And you can leave a little bit of the sky showing through. It'll, it'll create a nice detailed effect but not too much sky showing. All right. Now with our filbert brush, we can add on some, some nice little highlight areas to this tree. It's not gonna take too much, just a bit here and there. See that? Let it stick out over this beautiful light. Oh yeah, I like it. Vary your colors, hit some Hit some brown and gold occasionally. <laughs> you don't want everything just green and yellow all the time. In the forest, oh, there's so many beautiful colors everywhere. So I suggest using a lot of colors when you paint. Now we can go ahead and scrub in a little bit of water here. I just have a one inch brush and a little bit of yellow and white, touch a brown into it just to give it a beautiful little cast of a little brown cast. All right, I like it. And as it comes forward here, let's just, let's just get a little darker. Ooh, nice, there's some black. Touch a red, more black, right up to that, right up to this little ledge or cliff area. Now with our filbert brush, we'll very gently just scrub in some highlight to the water here. Now I'm using some, 
some yellow and some white. It's beautiful, beautiful sunlight, sunlight color. See that the light's coming in like this today, but this area over here will actually be quite dark. Now let's go ahead and add on some detail to this land area. Now this painting is a little bit, well, it's a little different than sometimes. You see the lights coming in through the center here and it's actually coming, coming across like this, but this side of the, of the painting is really mostly in shadow. But we also want detail. It's not just so, not just dark. So there's a very fine line and we're gonna find it. We're gonna, we'll make it out okay here. We're just gonna, just gonna throw in a little bit of detail, a few shades of color, so we can see the, we can see the land and how it slopes and all sorts of beautiful things. But we're not gonna overdo it and ruin the, ruin the effective light areas in the painting. Now we'll just continue to work on some beautiful details here on this side. And you can jump around different sides, left and right, because it's all one painting. So if you put a color on the right side, you ought to throw it here on the, on the left side as well. The painting should be balanced with color. <laughs> Don't let it look like there's two different paintings on each side of the river. I've done it before. You probably all have, where, especially true on seascapes where your paintings just don't seem to match. It's not like one solid landscape or seascape. You want it to match with color. I hope, you, I hope giving you these tips every once in a while really helps you. As I think of stuff, I just try to pass it on, make your painting experience that much more enjoyable. Now with our Filbert brush, let's drop in a, a really fun detail here. A nice, old fallen tree in the water. See that? Now I know that's dark and, and dark and pretty hard to see. So let's, let's throw some detail on it. A little bit of brown, red, touch of white. And go right across the top. We'll finish up today just adding in a lot of nice tall grass and, and plants here. I'm just pulling down with the fan brush and the tiniest little amount of yellow and green. Very nice, subtle, kind of a, a nice way to, to finish off the painting, make it look detailed and complete. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.